Welcome back to the second game between Fionor and Stefan. Franks against Persians. I hope to see an interesting game. I know it's not going to be a short one. It will take a little while until we get to the final end. It's not going to be like a 35 minute game or something. And the uh, those two players actually played three games in a row. This is not a third game, I think. I'm not sure about it. And it ended 2-1 uh, for Fionor. So we've seen one victory for him, so we don't really know is this the victory for Fionor or for Stefan here. I'm not going to tell you until the end of the game. I know it's going to end, I didn't see the games, I know who the winner of this one is. And Franks against Persians, before we go into the maps, really interesting to me, what do the Franks do better than the Persians here? Because I feel the Persian economy should be even better than the Franks, possibly, or maybe they are, they're head ahead, but the Persians' TCs work fast, so they have a pretty good boom. Both of Paladins, Franks' Paladins a little bit better, obviously, but the Persians are getting heavy camels. Bombard Cannons and Hand Cannoneers available for both, Halberdiers are around. The Elite Skirmishes are not really good, nor for the Franks, I think. And maybe the big difference is, while Persians do get a unique unit of War Elephants, we have Franks with a better infantry for sure. They get Champions, they have the Destroying X-Men. They get Chivalry, which can make a difference, obviously. They get Siege Engineers, which is really important, and those cheap castles can really help a lot. And I think in the end, it makes sense to say that Franks are Kind of the better civilization and arena, so I'd say Fionor with a little bit of an advantage here when it comes to the Civ. But let's see if the game is going into the late game and going to a trash war. Uh, we have sea trams for the Persians, obviously, and they can really make a difference. And heavy scorpions for both, I think, bombard cannons for both. Again, siege engineers might be uh, what can change the game as well. But we're going to find out. Franks obviously lacking light calf. They have strong light calf, maybe the best light calf in the game. Not sure uh, from those civs that don't. Get Hazar and we have Stefan with main gold safe in the back here. Let's go for the maps now. Second gold in the back, third gold in the back, which is awesome for him. Deer inside, we're quite close to the TC actually. And the main stone on the side here forward is the second stone forward outside. I hope we don't, won't see a trash here, but it's almost too late for that. Yeah, I think nobody is going to trash here. And I'm really happy about this fact because I want to see a standard feudal and fast cast late. And then go for, I guess, map control fights, a little bit of a boom here, three TCs, maybe even four later on, and some mangonels on the, uh, the map, maybe a Frank's castle soon, and then we're gonna see a transition to Imperial Age, at least I hope. Shaking now, why? What is happening? Oh, did I miss something? Um, no, not sure. We have both players on the way to Feudal Age. Barracks coming up from Stefan. Let's quickly go for Fionor space. How do we look? Main stone for him, safe in the back. The Franks. Makes sense to have that. Makes fun to have that. Or is fun to have it because we uh, could get cheap castles and soon. And many of them stable. Barracks coming up, stable coming up. Barracks is up, sorry. Main gold forward. Second gold for the outside, extra gold here on the left, and extra stone closer to Fionor's. Well, maybe the extra stone is in the middle. And extra gold on the right hand side. I'm, am I missing one gold here? There's the main stone in the back, there's the main gold forward, there's the third gold. So the second, or maybe that's the third and the second gold here. They're both outside. Gold on the right hand side, stone on the right hand side, also extra. And you can see uh, the better scout here for Fionor with 55 HP, so Stefan has to run away here. Second stone on the right hand side is outside. One really close to space here. Here on the right, this one is closer to Stefan, so two uh, relics close to Stefan. And as the first scout was happening, we have three for Fionor against two for Stefan, so still is behind a little bit. And two more relics here on the top of the map, closer to Stefan, but we're gonna see uh, how these camels are going to impact the fights here. Monastery coming up for Stefan. Let's see for Fionor's going for Monastery as well. One extra TC on the wood line here in the back. Let's switch to Stefan quickly. See, he's got two TCs coming up already. One TC on the main gold, one TC on the wood line here. Nice triangle uh, around the main gold. I really like these TC spots. And Wilbro and Bosa coming in already. So you can see Stefan really, really knows how to play Persians and how to use their strong economy. Those two villages are idle. A little bit too long, but he's fighting in the middle. I hope he's going to find out about those villages soon. Yeah, I found out about them immediately uh, after I'm saying this. And he's getting the first relic in. The second monk moving to the other side is trying to grab this one close to the base here. There is four light calf. You know, obviously went for the light calf upgrade. 72 HP on those. Makes sense. Stefan probably is not going to invest too many resources into 
Uh, trying to get the relics in. I think this relic should be uh, somewhat inside. Yes. And those two light care are uh, getting another monk here, but they're going down to the camel and scout here. And they cannot ex escape. Even a spearman coming in. So Stefan should be able to get the second relic in and be happy with that. I don't think he wants to go for more fights until he has a better economy going. And for now, he has uh, three TCs up and running at 20 minutes in. Enough food to keep the village uh, the production going. He has done wheelbarrow already. The spearman uh, should should go down, I guess it got converted here. Gonna get converted back, yeah, and Fionor obviously is the leading its thing, the suiciding its thing. Nope, not going to happen. Now we can see a few more farms coming up around that mill, which means a 30C up on the main gold as well. Very similar build orders actually. If uh, Fionor had main gold in the back, could have put it like on the wood line as well. But pretty much the same for both players, except the fact that the main gold for Fionor is quite exposed here when it comes to um, the positions. Wilbur coming in for Fionor now is the founding town. Watch and a siege workshop coming up forward, no surprise. Village are moving forward here. We have four light caps still in the night on the field. Where's the siege workshop going? Actually, not so far to the side here. Stefan is prepared. He's got a siege workshop already with the scorpion. Is he expecting to see crossbowmen here? From the Franks, it's possible. We might see them actually, but it doesn't really make too much sense. I think a Manganel will be better. And a second stable and third stable actually coming up. So we might see Stefan deciding to go for a more Castle Age army because he knows how Fionor is going to play this out. And now with that, uh, Scorpion is just trying to keep the monks uh, away from the walls, maybe. We're going for a second Scorpion even against that Manganel. I think that's the main idea here. And he's still investing into knights now as well, doing bloodlines, chain barring armor on the way. Stefan is not going up to Imperial Age anytime soon. He is uh, taking on the fight. He's taking the main stone as well. Fionor instead going up to Imperial Age. And this is really interesting. He is 12, 15, 16 villagers behind. That's a lot. Doing handcart now. Loom on the way. Uh, Goldshaft mining for Stefan. Heavy plow also. And looks like Fionor has uh, an idea about a castle coming up forward. Cheap castles from the Franks are going to help a lot to like gain map control and try to keep map control as well. We have a little bit of a fight here happening. Let's go to like 65, maybe 70. 70, that sounds nice. 70 game speed to see how Stefan is going to fight against those few monks actually. The monks from the Franks are also a little bit better, but they shouldn't decide the game. Fiano should be able to get that castle up. He has walled these villages in and that means while Stefan is clearing most of Fionor's army, that castle might be difficult to take on. And Stefan is gathering the resources to click up to Imperial Age, but he has invested a lot into those knights. And I think he should even try to attack this castle using the knights and maybe go with a ram or two. He's going for the battle room now. There is a barracks coming up, actually two barracks for the pikeman upgrade on the way. Imperial Age uh, is done. Are we going to see chemistry? Is there a... No, no university yet. Conscription set coming up. And the Hellbody upgrade probably going to come in soon. Also, one throwing X-Men to kill that villager. And we have Stefan now clicking up to Imperial Age. He will be there quite soon, actually, going for more stables. He's staying on the cavalry units against upcoming camels. This could be interesting. Are we going to see hand cannoneers from Stefan then, maybe? Because then an infantry is not an option for him and there is a second castle coming up already for Fionor. That's maybe one of the advantages for the Franks here. They have those cheap castles. The monks moving out to try and convert those. Ooh, that was a quick conversion and he only used one of those monks. Very strong but you can see the pikeman now. He knows Helmet is on the way probably at least and it's, um, in fact they are. So Helmet is around now for Fionor who can go for like bombard cannons. He's ca doing chemistry. Trebuchet on the way and Stefan is going for a castle behind the main stone but that still could be in range of the trebuchets located around here. Once that siege workshop is going down, the traps might do good damage here. We have elite skirmish and boat arrow on the way from Stefan. This is not what we want to see, but it's maybe the only option that he has. Elite skirmishers is uh, or has been seen as a last resort. If you don't have gold, if you don't have another chance, usually you don't want to see the skirmishes early on. They can change the games though. So using them is like a delicate uh, thing to do and it's not going to be easy to do it. Chemistry, two men saw Cavalier on the way, Conscription, a lot of upgrades. You can see Stefan has a lot of resources, 121 bridges still. Let me go to like 80, 81 speed as possible. We have a third castle coming up. Not yet actually. There is the ram, there is the uh, mangonel around and that castle is only on 300 HP but it's getting built now. So the ram is going uh, down to the throwing X-Men and the bomber cannon plate my arm on the way to make the infantry units stronger. And I think that's the strength of the Franks against Persians. The infantry is a lot better here. You don't really want to go for the paladins unless you have the opportunity to like beat your opponent with one strike. 
and on the 1v1. And we have plate uh, barding armor coming up. Cavalier is done and a cap drum on the way. So we might see siege drums here from Stefan. That might be uh, one option that he has. I think he could go for Halberdier in this game. And we're gonna see a little bit of uh, meat shield fights. But the throwing axeman behind that can do a lot of damage. And I think Stefan also needs the bombard cannons. He's going for a second trap now against three traps. But are those three traps all hitting that castle? I think only the first, uh, that one behind the castle and the one here can hit the castle from Stefan. One trap though going down and that other trap is unpacking to start and hit the castle again. The Albanese are like parked in the front, that bombard can is going a l uh, too far forward. There's now three traps in that castle. Looks like Fionor, even though he's behind in score, is going to be able to keep map control with three castles still up and running. He's sending in Albanese and Stefan is losing the castle now, finishing siege ram, which is really important. See the resources for him looking okay-ish. That's got a good amount uh, actually of everything. So he needs to produce more siege from production starting. And now the cavalier are fighting against the helps. Elite Skirmish is behind that. They're not doing too much damage. And Stefan is realizing, oh, and that's not the best fight ever to take. The siege ram is moving forward, but they are also going down really fast because the throwing X with only 7 plus 1 attack. They're doing a lot of damage to those siege rams. Now the cavalier are uh, uh, taking the fight on. And it looks like that first castle in front is going down. Bombard cannon production starting from Stefan as well. He's doing more stables again, let the arch armor in the way for hand cannoneer production. And we have a very good Persian army here. 140 villagers, 46 military units, a lot more population for Stefan. Looks like if he's going to get rid of those castles, he might be able to just run over Fionor. We have a 37 minute game. I told you this is not going to end soon. So this is something that's probably not going to happen. I'm not sure if uh, Fionor is going to hold on to these castles, but Stefan is not gonna, going to win like in one big fight here. And he is sending the uh, sea trams forward once again, but those throwing axemen, you can see there's 15 of them. They are almost one-shotting, I guess three-shotting those sea trams somehow. Uh, how much damage do they do? That should be nine now, plus three because of the negative melee army armor, so 12 damage on a 270 HP. That's like... How much? Oh, I, want, I don't want to do math now. It's too late for me at this point. Uh, 12 for 270, like 20 hits, 20, 22, 23, something like that. That's not a lot. And those, there's 15 of those throwing excellent, so they are really getting rid of the sea trams quite fast here. The castles are still standing. Sea trams are not good enough. Now there's the bomber cannons arriving. And do we have siege engineers on the bomber cannons from Fionor? No, not yet. Town watch coming in. Light cap from Stefan. He knows he cannot rely on uh, the cavalry for too long. So maybe Hussar has to even go for some raiding, which is possible. Castle coming up on the second stone and covering that extra gold as well. Uh, the TC on the third gold, there is a mining camp on that extra stone. And it looks like Fionor should be able to get a lot more castles up if he is going for more stone miners, actually. Now, at this point in the game, he's just trying to hold on to two castles he has with the four or five trebuchets. There is two, three bombard cans behind it and a lot of helmets to make sure the cavalry cannot really do a lot here. This is a very, very good fight, in my opinion. And I don't really see who is going to win this. The throwing axemen doing a lot of damage, but those cavalry are now moving in to take down trebuchets. Sea tram hitting that castle, there's two more sea tram doing nothing, and a bombard cannon from Stefan is going down as well. The score really close now, Fionor in the lead, but only by a little now Stefan taking the lead again. But those castles are not going down. Iron casting and Hazaras. I think Stefan needs to go for a castle of his own now again. She is not going to be able to do uh, so fast because he is mining uh, the last of his main stone and he lost one of the castles. Not sure, maybe he sold some stone as well. It's possible. Uh, so he uh, won't be able to get trebuchets easily. That second stone is something that he cannot take or he won't be able to take very soon. And that castle is only on 700 HP. There's a bombard cannon behind us. Two of them actually. We might see the castle going on, but it's getting repaired already. And now uh, Fionor is saying, hey, I have a lot of military units, more than you. I'm going to move in, trying to do the damage here. Only a few hand cannons in the back here. And those throwing X men can do a lot of damage to the bombard cannons as well. You can see this one almost went down. Now they're trying to counter attack here. But the castle again on 1k4, 1k5 HP. Lead skirmishers taking on the Helvetius, which is good for Stefan here. He's still in a score lead by uh, that much, and that's not a lot. Uh, but the bombard cannons are not getting close to the castle. Finally, there's a trebuchet. Stefan uh, was able to get a castle up. Was wondering where did all the stone go, so he actually was able to build a castle. And with those two traps that he has now, he should be able to at least take on that army here, that trebuchet army. The first uh, forward castle went down, and now I think Stefan should 
should be able to approach this castle, maybe kill, uh, delete those rams, go over the siege rams, go around, around the stone, attack it from the weak side, go with your army in the middle, and it looks like Fionor lost a lot of army as well, so Stefan with good amount of resources, Fionor at the same time, a lot of gold in the bank, but not a lot uh, food or wood here, enough stone for a castle, well, almost, I think it's 488 or something, and trebuchet is going down to the sea trams, only one trebuchet remaining and it's getting repaired. But there's two traps hitting that castle, sea tram actually coming up from that uh, far side here. There's siege workshop and three stables already. A siege workshop coming up in the middle now, two castles here guarding. The second stone, the extra stone and that extra gold here, but no mining camp on that, that's a problem. Chivalry coming in now, interesting, we have the fastest stables here. Chain barding armor, cavalier on the way. So it looks like Fionor is saying, I have a lot of gold, I want to transition into cavalier or maybe Paladin now because my opponent didn't even do Pikeman, didn't really need to and with a big uh, Paladin push I might be able to take out everything there is and try to win the game from there on. So let's see, Fionor also had a lot more gold in this game already and he's got a decent amount of resources now when it comes to food and gold. Cavalier done, Chivalry going up again, did he lose the castle from that was producing, uh, was doing that upgrade? I'm not sure what happened, maybe he lost the castle around here, I didn't see it. Another castle coming up, you can see the Franks can just spam castle. So that's a really, really good point for the Franks here. And we have Sea Trims now moving forward from Stefan, who's going with the castle of his own in the middle. Uh, I think it's a little bit too far forward. I would have preferred to see it around here, where it can protect it a little, protect it a little bit easier. But maybe Stefan is right to do this. Maybe he is going to be able to. Uh, get the map control going and keep it actually. Stefan, uh, no sorry, Fionor, very low on resources. Stefan, a lot of food in the bank, good amount of gold, but Paladin is done. And how's the upgrades looking on those? They're fully upgraded Franks, Paladins, and the production is going so, so fast. You can see Paladin almost going like uh, Haskells or something like that. And we do see a few converted Paladins as well. We still see Bergs coming up fast, Pikeman and Chain barring armor as well. Uh, those Paladins were a little bit surprised to Stefan here. Still, there's not enough of them. I think Fionor needed to wait a little bit longer. That's uh, a nice row of barracks here. I like this um, this row of buildings, to be honest. It gives a good protection to those to the castle, and a lot of pikemen are actually getting produced. They're moving out now. Helbody on the way. Arson tracking, squires, everything. Stefan was really fast to get those barracks up. You look at this. There is a lot of them in the back as well. And now Stefan should be able to outproduce Fionor for some time here. Population looking close. Villager numbers only by five. Uh, uh, only different by five. Sea choices are coming forward. Throwing X-Men not elite. Three plus one range though. I would love to see the elite throwing X-Men here getting utilized, but not at this point in the game. Fionor low on resources actually, uh, but he's still producing a lot of paladins as well. And you can see he cannot produce for too long because the paladin production is going so so fast here. Barracks coming up for Fionor as now. If you're going to see a transition into champions, then we've seen everything that no, those two civilizations have to offer, except for moral defense maybe. And I don't think we're going to see the elephants here. But Fionor still has a good amount of food, gets a decent amount of gold, is still taking gold here. Problem is, he's getting attacked on two sides now. There's one castle here on the left, guarding that extra gold. There is two castles guarding that gold with probably more gold left. And that first castle here, close to stone, is going down very, very fast. Boom, down it is. The other castle getting repaired already. Good amount of throwing action. I think this castle is going to stand for a little bit longer. And Stefan might need to send trebuchets in. I'm not sure if he has any traps left. Uh, on the other side, the castle is not getting attacked at all, but the gold uh, run out. And now there's Hussars moving in, throwing X-Men. Elite actually, elite upgrade done. Very nice to see. They're getting dropped into the castle, getting ungarrisoned again, hitting those sea trams. You can see it going down really, really fast. And that castle is still at 1k, 1 HP. Do we see any ranged units here from Stefan? No, not yet. I think one trebuchet might be a good option here. And I don't see it yet. Hussars in the middle are idle. On the left hand side, actually, Fionor still is that castle. Castle up is going for trebuchet of his own and he's going to attack that castle. Obviously, makes a lot of sense here. Helbert is moving forward to attack that third gold or second gold from Fionor. And this castle from Stefan is not going up for now. And Oh, Stefan went for a really forward castle here. I'm not really happy about this. I think this was too ambitious as well. Uh, while the castle from Fiona is still standing. More barracks coming up now. And I would really like to see the transition into standard infantry. Fletching on the way, Treadmill Crane. And that castle, well, 7k HP, 4k7 left. Paladin uh, still on the field. And a good amount of lead throwing x That one trebuchet is hitting the castle. Stefan is repairing, but only 200 stone remaining. I think he mined out everything he has. So he has to rely on the two relics. Uh, uh, no, three, sorry, no, two. It's two. And whatever resources he can um, sell to get gold in. 
fortified wall in, coming in for Fionnur. Interesting upgrade, but it makes a lot of sense here. And that one trebuchet is happily hitting that castle. Stefan doesn't have the army to counterattack this, and he was not able to take that castle down. I think one trap, he really needed that. He's got a sea tram here, but it's not good enough. Sea trams are going down to the, the throwing X-Men very too fast. Now, a good amount of Hussars, they are very mobile uh, army, so they can do some damage here. And Stefan still has a good amount of wood and food in the bank, he's still producing a lot of Halberdiers. But Fionnur looking, let's see, not so much gold left. Good amount of wood, decent amount of food here, and they're fighting in the middle. You can see the sea trims now moving in, the trap went down, and there's villagers uh, starting to help out with the fight. Makes a lot of sense here, Hussars are going to try and take down as many villagers as possible, but they're dying to the Halberdiers as well. And those sea trams, there's only two, three remaining, two in the castle. One going down, there's only one remaining. This castle is on 1k5. There's Bombard Cannon now coming in behind that, but Light Cap down for Fianor. So he's going for the fast units as well. And I think the Bombard Cannon might be able to take the castle down. I would have preferred to see the trebuchet around the castle here. Sea Trunk Ship coming up from Stefan as well. 700 HP left. Now it's uh, only half, I guess. No, a little bit more than a half because the fun is starting to repair. It's a little bit of, uh, sorry, Fionnur is starting to repair. It's a little bit of stone left. And the Bombard Cannon is not getting attacked only now, but the castle went down before the Light Cav can take down the Bombard Cannon. So the left hand side has been weakened, and I think Stefan, with all the elite skirmishers, can start to move in and try to do some damage here. On the other side, Trebuchet from Fionnur to attack those buildings. And that castle in the middle is still standing for now. I'm not sure if it's going to stay on. I think it's depending on the military count here and the quality of the army we won't see champions in this game i guess uh, which almost makes me sad but you can see a lot of those elite throwing x-men as well buildings going down here trebuchet moving forward and now that castle is getting attacked from that strong side from funeral where the castle is still up we're still taking gold and stone so important to see funeral had a better map in my opinion when it comes to the extra resources and there's two trebuchets on the field Stefan only 140 stone, he won't be able to repair that for too long, but he's got more military units. He's concentrating on that left hand side still, on that uh, south side, which is a mistake in my opinion. I think he should move his elite skirmish army to the other side, try to uh, keep that castle protected. Instead he's going for Predarts, housed, population cap 200 pop against only 163. But if Fyodor is in a score lead and he feels to be better here, he had more gold, a lot more gold. He's still taking gold here in front of his walls, which is amazing to see. And he is getting rid of that castle. Once this castle is falling, Stefan is pretty much open here. And then it could get dangerous. Also, a lot of Halberdiers and Elite Throwing X-Men, still a good amount around here. Uh, Stefan is still uh, getting uh, Throwing X-Men, uh, sorry, Fionnur is getting Throwing X-Men on the field. Stefan is still getting uh, in trouble with those Throwing X-Men, to be honest. He doesn't really find a way to counter those. And I guess it's not easy to counter tho those units actually. So we have Siege Worms now moving in from the bottom side here, from the bottom, from those Siege Workshops. Uh, 4k, 5k food in the bank, almost 4k, 5. But the castle went down, the barracks are dying, and now the Elite Throwing Axemen are moving in if he held this behind. The Light Cav might start to raid here. Not sure, is the base open? Stefan actually re towards the wood line. Uh, we might have an opening here, I'm not going to check now. I want to see the fight in the middle because the Light Cav are moving in. And we are going to see Light Cav in front, Elite Throwing Axemen in the back against Hussars, Elite Skirmishers and Sea Tramps. So full on trash war except for those unique units from the Franks here. Trebuchet is starting to hit the Siege Workshop. Heavy Scorpion away from Stefan. Makes sense, he's got the resources to do that. And we might see a turnaround. If he's getting like six, seven, eight of them, he could be able to fight the Throwing Axemen. And then we might have a, an actual counter on the field here. Uh, still, there's Light Cap around, so you need to protect your Scorpions as well. Heavy Scorpion done. Persians don't get the Siege Engineers as far as I know, so that's the one problem that Persian uh, Scorpions have. Or maybe I'm wrong here. Did I see 60 plus 1? That's, no, that's chemistry. Plus 1 range would be the Siege Engineers. We have 43 military units only for Stefan. He's losing a lot here. Fionnur is getting more and more units on the field. Both can and Ballistics coming in. I guess he wants to uh, transition into Elite Skirmishers as well. He needs some more trash units apparently, but he's got a good amount of gold in bank. Look at this. 1k8 gold and population cap while Stefan now is on 160 only. Ballistics on the way and looks like Fionnur is pushing back now. He needs a few ramps maybe to get rid of the buildings faster or use the trebuchets. This is also fine. He lost the traps I think but he's gaining map control back and it looks like he's in the winning position at this point. Stefan though is getting more and more army out again. A lot of trash units. He does not have a lot of gold but he is able to get enough army going to be able to defend here and possibly push back. Uh, still, but a better population and a better army, I feel, with those throwing X-Men for 
Fianor, who lacks a little bit of siege, and I would like to see more siege units. He still could go for trebuchets or something, but his population capped as well. He's got a castle at home here, another castle left inside at home, so his economy is still well protected, uh, and he's got the relic advantage. He, is he still taking gold here? No, in front of his gun. So now, finally, the natural resources have run out when it comes to gold and probably stone. And we have a 2k2 gold lead over 550. Stefan 65 against 93 military units now and everything is fighting underneath the gate. Oh, look at this. This is just beautiful. Look how fast those elite throwing X-Men are actually killing everything that is getting into their range. And elite skirmish has only two more range compared to the throwing X-Men. So that's not going to be the biggest difference. Elite uh, skirmish is getting attacked by light calf. And that's a good amount of light calf actually moving in here. Stefan 64, 63 military units. Fionor Housed on 200, he's pop capped. He is on maximum population. Getting rid of the buildings here on the left hand side as well. Stefan, a little bit in trouble. 106 villagers against 102, so pretty much the same. But uh, Stefan, lower resources and elite skirmishes are not quality units here. I guess he was able to get rid of a few of those throwing X Men. But look at this big ass light calf army. Even one has in between that got converted. So those skirmishes are actually pretty much doomed. And now Fionor is on double the population when it comes to military. And he he is on plus 50 population uh, compared to Stefan. He's winning this game with a very impressive usage of the lead throwing X-Men in my opinion. And he's showing why the Franks are considered stronger on Arena than Persians here. I think the infantry made the difference to be honest. Those throwing X-Men have done so much damage to the siege ramps and have killed so many units here. Paladin didn't really make the difference. It was a nice idea but didn't work out too well. It did what it had to do which gave Fionor a chance to fight back. Hope you enjoyed this one. Very, very strong game between two AOC civilizations and see you in the next game. Stan. GG.